So we are basically heading out to there. We're looking for a colonial home site. I have a feeling it, it's gonna it's gonna clean up up there. Oh yeah, it's like a whole nother world. Yeah. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Dame and myself. It's our first uh, venture out together in 2020. Today is gonna be another scouting, hiking, exploring day because of this big chunk of land which you've seen in many videos last year where we discovered some colonial sites and metal detected some cellar holes. But we're gonna go... Where we haven't gone before. Which is the middle. This entire piece of property is somewhere in the eight to 900 acre size, yeah. So we are basically heading out to there. Nice, I'm ready for some exercise. Cabin fever, full effect. So last year, if you had seen, you might be familiar with the sites that we dubbed Williams site, the Big Rock, and a couple others. Well, the reason why we're going out to where we're going is because also in another video, Wayneos and I went for that winter hike. Way, way the hell out there. Mm -hmm. With no other signs, there's a colonial bridge over the river. That's a flag right there. That is a flag. So we're going to go to a big chunk we've never been to before and taking you along and happy spring, man. Yes, <laughs> let's go. So you guys know what we're, we're going for. We're looking for a colonial home site. And this is what's interesting about this area. There are tons of broken stone walls like that. Behind it, it was logged, so in a way it's beneficial, opens up things for us. But yes, then you look on the other side and it's older, deep, rich, thick forest. I don't think where we're going has been logged because it's so far out there. At least I'm hoping that's the case. Yeah, I, I prefer older forest, just in general, but the logging does open up spaces. Like what we're walking through right now, right? right? That's odd and interesting. We're not at our destination yet, but... Right. Huh. As we're walking along, we see more more broken wall. Oh wow, Dame, this is a, either a cart path or a logging road. Is that a dig out? It could be a dig out, but if this is a cart path, it's banked here with these stones. But what caught my eye was the, you know, the lip looking action. Right. But uh, it might be a dig out, but that would mean that it's banked here for, a reason. Huh. And it does parallel that wall. Yeah. And I can tell you for a fact that out there is is marshland. Because where we're heading uh, towards that colonial bridge, it's containing the marshland that's over here. That would be interesting to follow at some point. Yeah. Mental note. Yeah. Okay, so we've landed at our starting point. So Dame has never been over this side of the forest, which is good because it'll give him a different perspective. I've hiked this twice. What stands out about this bridge going this way, old stone bridge, it's not running parallel to the cart path we were following. It's jetting over into the middle of nowhere. Yes, there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. So here we go. This is where the journey begins, and uh, boy, I'll tell you, it's going to be a lot easier to cross than when Wainos and I did it. <laughs> I 
All right, so now that we've crossed our brook, Dame, that is roughly, I think that's the beginning of the lift we're looking at. Uh, we're gonna go up a bit of ways. I wanna check out a section that we had seen before that looked like a, a chunk of broken road, a bit of shouldering and stuff, nice. and we'll look out from yeah. that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Our first up. That is the bulb, as we call it, the chunk of land that we're going to go investigate. And Dame had the idea. Get on it at this end, and do a full end-to-end -end on it, just so we can scope the lay of it. Yeah. See any improvements? Stacked rock, and uh, I have a feeling it, it's going to it's going to clean up up there. Let's go find out. All right. I'm seeing a lot of clean, straight pines in there. Yeah, it just changes like a... Yeah, it's changing, definitely. Oh yeah, it's like a whole nother world. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. So this that we're coming up to is, might be that scooped out part of the end. Maybe. Boy. South. Hmm. You know what? Did we get spun around? I may have been here last year when I did the I did a hike uh, north of Williams site in those two big squares. Uh -huh. This may have been that hump that I was looking around. Huh. If that's the case, this isn't the lift we're looking for. <laughs> we can go about our business. Okay. We'll be right back. Well, we're not seeing any signs, but oddly enough, several trips later, it has led us to this same spot. Something about the land is just pushing us in this direction. It's, uh, it's beautiful up here. And considering all the other home sites that were around here in the colonial days, this spot's a no-brainer that it should have been occupied. So we're going to head back across this spot. Start finding our way back to where we started and hopefully see some land we haven't seen before. All right, we're back on. We have moved quite a distance over. As you guys can see, this is a chunk of old road, and it's no more than 80 feet worth. Dame is up in there looking around, and we're taking the long way back. We're basically doing a big loop. And this area still boggles us. So much land, but very few clues. This stretch of road is easily a mile from any of the other cellar holes, the old home sites that we know about. And we're just trying to figure out how it all connects. Where we came from up on that lift was definitely groomed. And, uh, we're convinced still that there's got to be a home site out here. It's just not that visible. How's the look up there? Uh, intuition -y. It's the best piece of land off the knob. <laughs> the best piece of land off the knob. <laughs> For all you Brits out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Think of the big rock. Oh yeah. Terribleness all around it yeah. and then shoop, yeah. a cellar hole. 
Well, I'm gonna do a little, a little feeling it, feeling it out. A right. minute. I want to go that way, keeping close to our trajectory. Right. Yeah. All right. So where we were just standing, Dame walks 80 feet away, and look at. <laughs> you get these like spidey sense tinglies, or I do anyway. And all that really, I mean, we don't see anything yet except for beautiful groominess. And all that I caught was a little spit of a shouldered game trail. And now we're on, this is definitely packed earth. Wow. Let's get a look-see. Yeah. Looks right. Incredibly flat. Wow, with all that we just went through. little grade right there that's where we're gonna go yeah. we just got off our loop to cut across to go up there we know it's been logged and we want to go up there because we're interested to see why they logged it was it an old field and we haven't touched that piece of ground yet uh, we definitely have a rivet across so I'll follow you Alright. Where's the Colonial Bridge when you need one? Pretty wide. Wow though, look at the ground. Is that from animal activity? Yeah. That's what that's what drew me this way. Yeah, this is this the land out here is unreal actually. We have never been in this section and wow. Well, it's getting tighter. That it's either that ice dam or it's that leap of faith. What with the tree? Yeah. I'll take the tree over the ice. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. The biggest problem is look at the bank on the other uh, side. Yeah, I was trying not to look at it. It's, uh... it's all ice. All right, well, here we go. All right, that ain't too bad. Yeah, that's not good. Nice. You can step on that little wet spot. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for uh, clearing all the brush. Yeah. Good. Good yeah, new territory. Right, this is where we'll go through. That'll be cool if that's a tail end of a field that we've never found. For sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go around this. Vastnessness. It is something, the uh, landscape textures that we have been through in the last few hours. This is crazy. Yeah.
All right, everybody. Well, we have made it back to where we started. Uh, today was awesome. What an awesome adventure and hike for us. Uh, again, we're painting the big picture. This is an area where it's mind-boggling in this massive chunk of land that history dictates, you know, like 12 settlers, families lived here, and we have found like five sites. They've got to be out there somewhere. Yeah. It, it's the vastness is dumbfounding and not seeing any sign. No stacked rock. We see what looks like improved areas totally, but. Right, but taking the route we took today, which is we were going to start taking a big loop, but halfway across we cut across and remarkably how quickly the landscape changes. You found that super flat spot. Then it went to rock land, then the river up the hill and into that open spot. It was just nuts. So let's get out of here while it's still daylight. We'll see you guys soon and you can see why and what we go through what we go through to get to what we get to. Correct. Enjoy your not Thursday.